fancy. But it's okay. It's no problem at all. Now we will make you real soft.
I wish we had a case to one puzzle. keys to unpuzzle. Let me see. I say, let's start detectivating our case. First thing first. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. From now on, my dearest Watson, everything's elementary. Now you see, Watson, there's the motive. And here is this thing. What's it called? Anywho, everything's elementary. Watson, it is a very puzzling case.
Gimme, gimme, gimme!
Josh's spooky stories. Oh, you have a clue for everything. You say, like, scary monsters, monstrous nightmares. Ah, oh, we are so scared, scared. And nobody has ever seen them in real life. But one boy has met one. Let me tell you how it was. Once upon a time, there was a place left by everybody, a tractor's plant. The deal is that the boy has lost the scoop from his toy tractor, and he believed that he could find a spare one at this plant. And once after the nap time, when none of the adults could see him, he left for that place. The boy climbed over the fence, and he saw a dull building standing in front of him. Broken poles were sticking around everywhere, and all windows were broken. The lights were turned off, and just one tiny window at the broken tower had a mere light on. The boy has climbed at this tower. And there, in the room, at the table, in front of the mirror, was the ugliest monster sitting relaxed. He was all covered up with fur. He looked at himself and put on lipstick with a painting roller. There is only one word about it, horror. He made a hiccup because he got scared and it made such a loud sound in the silence that the monster shivered and dropped the roller into his jaws. The boy, due to fear, rolled down the stairs and fell, and he could not understand how he had appeared at some damp underground. He looked around. Oh, my holy mommy! They sat one in front of the other on some boxes, two monsters, and next to them, some unshaved mister dressed in coverall. There is a wooden reel for spooling the cable, and they're using it to pound very loud. And all of a sudden, the monster, the one covered with scales and with a pike head and snake tail, <laughs> has hit the reel and roared thick fish. And the second monster at the table with a trunk thrown behind the shoulder started to giggle so disgustingly that it made the boy's flesh crawl like cockroaches running all over his back. So the monsters have caught the mister and beat in his forehead. The boy, being beside himself with fear, got out of the underground and found himself in a workshop. It was quiet around and getting dark, but there was something far away, leaking drop by drop somewhere. And then, all of a sudden, in the center of the workshop, a throne is standing, covered with skulls and crossbones. A king is sitting on it. He was in a shell himself, holding a laser sword in his clutches. He noticed the boy, and his anger made his green, ugly face convulse. All of a sudden, the lights turned on, and somebody's thin, tiny voice screamed, Stop, stop, stop! Why has some strange kid appeared in front of our camera? Marivana, I'm asking you! There's no way I can shoot in such conditions! Take a break! Somewhere from the top of the camera platform, when the camera got down, the king on the throne has thrown his laser sword into the corner. A break again? 150 takes so far! It turns out that a real movie was being made. The boy had gotten a clue right after the unshaved mister brought him outside the fence. And all of the monsters were actors. They were not real and were only pretending everything. Why should I, a silly head, be afraid of them? So, my dear, all monsters from the books and movies, all of them are not real, just a fiction. A figment of a fancy mind. And if you want to see a real monster, 
Then look at a fly under the magnifying glass.
think I did it all? I didn't do it. I did it. <laughs> you guys don't believe me? <laughs> they didn't believe me. <laughs>
Pookie tail. Listen, this little girl was very afraid of animals of all kinds. Not all the time, only when she was looking at them. Once upon a time, when the night was dark and cold, abruptly, <gasps> the sun came out and the girl decided to go for a walk. Suddenly, she saw in front of her the biggest and fiercest animal of all. A mouse! The girl got frightened and started to scream loudly. But of course, it had zero effect on the fierce beast, the mouse. What could she do? Nothing at all. Only to climb up the tree. The mouse under the tree opened its tiny mouth with its huge teeth and started laughing viciously. It is a rare thing to see a mouse laugh. When people are scared, the mice see them and start laughing. And seeing this horror is really terrifying. But then it got even scarier. <gasps> Suddenly, out of nowhere, scary animal number two appeared a predatory kitty cat. So then, if that predatory kitty cat can't eat up that fierce beast, the mouse, to eat up a little girl would be a piece of cake for sure. The fierce beast, the mouse, started squeaking in horror, so it climbed up the tree. The girl climbed away from the mouse and the cat 
under the tree looked up at them, laughing in a deep voice. <laughs> then a terrible thing happened. The most scariest monster came up to them. A dog of a vicious breed, a lap dog. The cat climbed away from the dog, the mouse climbed away from the cat, and the girl climbed away from them all. The lap dog laughed so frantically that everyone got goosebumps. But the dog didn't laugh for too long because the lion showed up. Actually, the dogs do not know how to climb up trees. But when a lion shows up, they learn real fast. The dog climbed away from the lion, the cat climbed away from the dog, the mouse climbed away from the cat, and the girl climbed away, frightened. Then the lion started laughing and horsing around. The lion is the king of the jungle, but there are bigger animals. They're stronger, and they're even scarier. The elephant came, and the elephant started laughing. And when laughter comes out of an elephant's trunk, that's it. You will get chills up your spine. It's really so much scarier. The lion climbed up away from the elephant, then up went the dog, then the cat, then the mouse, and the girl went up to the treetop. The girl climbed up thinking, why is the whole zoo following me? Just when she thought she would never see the end of her troubles, she saw the end of the tree. And the girl would have fallen all the way down from the treetop if that day the animal rights activists did not launch balloons celebrating Animal Rights Day. The girl got lucky and caught one of the balloons. But the mouse did not. It couldn't grab a balloon and fell down on the elephant. But it turned out that elephants, even though they're the big animals, they fear other animals too. Turns out that big elephants are afraid of small mice, just like little girls. And the circle of lice started to go around and around. And the animals forgot all about the girl, but she wasn't even there. They were busy running in circles, scared of each other. The girl looked at all the animals and thought to herself, why did I even run away from them? That's when the girl's father came home. Her father really loved animals, so he put the whole animal kingdom back in order. That's what I'm telling you. You have to love animals and protect them. Don't be afraid of them. And when you try, if you're still afraid of them, ask those who come to rescue you, like your father. Because climbing up your father is more interesting and safer than climbing up trees. Now what? 
Once we fly to Bear's house now. Ah! One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's look for cartoons to pick. I will 